everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time stopping in, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for giving me your continued support. I really, really appreciate it, and you. And today we are here to do it again, guys. We're doing another kit up. Love my kit ups. <laughs> I love kitting up. Um, I do know that a lot of people, this is like one of your favorite parts of diamond painting. And I am right there with you. I'm sorry. You know, I always have to have a coffee break at some point in my video. <laughs> um, I've come to, um, I've come to enjoy kit downs. Kitting down was the bane of my life when I first started and I have a ton of storage and you don't see a whole lot of it anymore because I am constantly kitting kits down now and so I have all of my storage available to me at my disposal at most times. So I've kind of been alternating between my two, I think my two top favorites, which is the Elizabeth Ward tray and then this Craft Mates. I have a lot of the round bottle ones. I mean, well, one, two, three, four, five, I have six different ones with different amounts of bottles. The only thing that I don't like about that is when you have ones with lots of colors, you end up having to use multiple, multiple bottles, which I mean, I don't know. I just, I just gravitate towards these two, this one and this one, if it's less than, um, I think there's 56 compartments in here. So I kind of gravitate towards this one. If, if the color palette is up in like the forties, then I like to use this one because there's so many that are, you know, 50 plus 60 plus colors anymore that uh, when I do have an opportunity to pull this one out, I try to use it. So that is what we're doing today. And this one, I double checked the amount of colors because I, I have already done a formal unboxing of this kit. This is Hello Moon by Oraloa. I just received this kit. This was a promotional item. There is a full uh, formal unboxing of this on my channel. And um, yeah, I just feel like she's a winter. I'm, I'm still in the winter mood. It's still winter. I don't know when spring's supposed to be here, but it's not here yet. And I'm still feeling like doing some winter kits. And I felt like this is a winter kit. I don't know if you get that vibe from it. What do you think? Um, and I'm really loving the stained glass in the back. I think she's adorable. But let me tell you, I am doing the heart flower jars right now. And I had ordered a ton of, a ton of sparklers to put in it. And I really, really am having a lot of fun doing that. So I wanted to take a look at the moon on her head and see what, what we could do with that. So oh, three of those could be quad cubes. This one, this one, and this one. And then that one could be if there's an oblong one. I'm going to have to look into it. Um, she's staring at me. <laughs> she's got the biggest, beautiful blue eyes. No, just kidding. Um, yeah, so this is the painting. I'm not obviously going to do a full formal unboxing, but just wanted to show the canvas again. Look how beautiful she is. She's so cute. Uh, there's a lot of color blocking in this. It is a 50 by 60 centimeter. Uh, there's a black border around, and this is Oraloa Square diamond painting. So, yeah, I love squares by Oraloa. I love, love, love the squares by Oraloa. And, yeah, we're going to we're gonna kit this baby up. So, here is all of her colors. Aren't they beautiful? And here's the sticker sheet. We're going to go ahead and put this aside. We don't need this pamphlet here. Here's her 
here's the tool kit that came with it. And so there are, in this one, there are 46 colors and there are four ABs. I don't know, I think I might just keep it the way it is because I'm looking and, let me see. Yeah, it is, the, 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 the moon is all ABs. So here's the four ABs. Go ahead and put them aside. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kit it up in this kit, my craft makes, or my craft mates, I'm sorry, craft makes, they do pens. <laughs> They're on Etsy and I have a few of their pens. I actually have one coming, but I have a couple of their pens and really like their pens, but this is, that's crafted mate makes. This is craft mates lockables. I'll try to link it below, but I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they stopped making these, which would really break my heart. Um, but it's hard to find. I have not found it to link. It has been listed unavailable the last couple times that I've fitted this up. Whoa, wait a minute. This is, this is, how many did I say? One, two, three, four. Hmm. 30. Oh, this is not one. Okay. This is not one. I was like, there's only four, but I got five bags. This is not one. Got a little confused there. You know, I, I pulled this washi out to put along here, but I'm wondering if I should use their washi because it's Orloa washi. Hmm. I wonder, maybe I'll just use their or, the Oraloa washi along, along the containers. Um... I like that. No. Like that. Okay. So if you've seen me kit up in these before, then you know what I like to do. I like to do a little washi along the top here. And I got a little hack for you. Um Take the washi tape and you just lay it along the bottom here all the way across like so. And cut it. Um, it might be a little too, a little too long. And then I have this uh, it's sharp, the sharp tool and just cut in between the doors. And I'll, I'll, I'll push them down like that. just like that and then you can open each door so that's my hack for putting washi along there I think these stickers are pretty good like I don't think that they um stick or anything but just in case oh and my nails look a mess like I had this the sticker stuff on it and I think I just did it too much so like air wasn't getting to them. So I'm giving them a break. I'm giving them a break again. But we're gonna go ahead and pull all these out and put them in order. So 151, 154. So I'm just gonna look at the numbers. One, two, and I'll tell you what number, what they are. Three, four, five. And I did keep them in order. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are all 11. Um, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So far it looks like we're going to need a few for that one. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And we'll definitely need minimum two, maybe three for that one. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay. So I think I got all the things I need this time. I've, I'm kidding up so often. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this again. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really loving this uh, kind of going through one canvas at a time because then I can concentrate and put all my energy in that canvas instead of like trying to split it up among multiple canvases. And I'm just... Even if, I don't, if I'm not getting more finishes, I know it feels like it is for you and for me. So we'll see at the end of the year what it comes out to be because I haven't really done like a really large diamond painting yet. Not like the ones that I've done in the past. And this is, this is I would say, even still more on like the medium size. Um... A 50 by 60 compared to like the landscapes that are like 90 by 60 or um, like the autumn oasis um, even the one I'm doing now which is kind of la large but that's around so you know that's helpful so it's just things like that so I haven't done and I have a lot a lot of them that I really like to get to um, so we'll see how fast I get through one of those when I finally kit one of those up, but let's go ahead and see what we're doing here. So I like to do one, two, three, A, B, C, and then symbols, like, like similar symbols. Um, and they do one through eight is one through eight. Uh, I, I'm seeing companies doing that more frequently now, so that's nice. And then the, the, the letters are all kind of mixed in, so we'll have to just kind of jump around and, and pick out those. Um, and then, so that's the only thing about not using the bottles or Elizabeth Ward when you're using these strips. Um, you If you do a certain simple, if you don't do it in order, if you don't do one, two, three, four, five, one to 46, or um, just kit up the way it's laid out, um, then you, there is some thought to it. And so I'm just going to look and see. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven containers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And so they all just need one. So this one strip will be one through seven. And then unfortunately, eight's gonna be on its own. Um, and then we'll start with, we have capital A, lowercase a, and then we'll go, we'll go from there. So the first one is gonna be 152, which is number one. And when I say number one, I'm talking about the symbol, not this one. Um, because I do, I, I do kit up and I diamond paint by symbol, so. Oh, what I did not grab and I'm going to need are my dryer sheets. Look at that. So where are they? They're right here. It's a good thing about the art cart. Everything's kind of like within reach. So I just, for static. Oh yeah. <laughs> and one more thing. So for static, I use... Um, a blunt pair of tweezers and I just use some dryer sheets cut up and I'll just throw that in there and go whoosh like 
it like so. So this is number one. Let's see if that was enough. And it was. Yeah, that was plenty. Good. All right, so number one. Number two is 154. And this is static too. Usually if, if there's one, there's many. That's what I feel like. But it's not too horrible. So how is everybody doing? Um, I hope everybody is having a good start to their week. It's Monday right now. Um, so I'm recording this pretty late. And um, I plan on trying to record and edit this and have it up by tomorrow because it's been a few days since I posted a video. And I was doing really good there for a minute um, of like an every other day kind of video. But um, I think, I feel like last week kind of got away from me. And then the weekend was just, I, I just posted about this on Instagram. Ah, the weekend was really, it was just not a good weekend. Um, I work, you know, I work every weekend now. So I work every Saturday and Sunday, and then I have off Monday through Friday. And... A lot of the times I feel like I need five days off just to recover <laughs> from the weekend. It's like, it's just been a lot and it's exhausting. But, and then, so I, I Saturday I was crazy, crazy busy. Oh, my daughter's coming home. Here, coming in. Okay, next one is 154, number four. I mean, sorry, 158, number four. That's her little sneeze, little sneezes. Hold on. Okay. My daughter's so cute. Okay, so uh, number four is 158. Let's see, is there, there's a little bit of static in here. Okay. Yeah, so I am I am working on the fifth of the six rows on the flower heart jars. And honestly, the fifth and the sixth row, the fourth, fifth, and sixth row are pretty um, heavy in the color blocking area. It, it's going pretty quickly. Um, number five is 161. So I have a feeling that I, I, I'm definitely going to be done that one this week. So I'll be starting this one that week. So I'll be starting this one this week. And I don't know. I uh, am definitely going to be doing a video on how I diamond paint, like how I diamond paint squares. So I've been thinking a long time about it. Someone had asked me um, if I could do a video on how I diamond paint my squares to be straight. And I've been thinking about what it is that I do to try to be straight, <laughs> to try to keep my, my squares straight. And so I'll be making a video about that. 
So number six is 162, this pretty like turquoisey aqua, baby blue kind of. I think it's more baby blue than it is any of the other colors. I just saw one of these over here. All right, and that's number six. Number seven, let me label six. 162 is number six. Number seven is 208. There we go. Um, and then I really can't wait to do my post review with the flower heart or the heart flower jar. I always want to call it flower heart jars, but it's heart flower jars. Um, it's like no matter how many times I say I say that, I, I keep wanting to say it the wrong way. I'm just gonna give that give that. Um, is this called dryer sheet? Just let it go there. Okay, so this, our first row is done. There is a little bit of static in there in all of them. I think maybe I'll cut little squares and put them in there. Just little ones, like I'll cut this into four. My dog wants to come in. <laughs> she followed me out and then she was hanging out with my daughter. Let me let her in, she's staring me down. Mommy. Okay, she's climbing in her bed. All right, here we go. Just gonna put a little square in each one, just to calm it down. Like this. Um, yeah, so I cannot, when I'm done that, I cannot wait to show you guys that one because it's really coming out so beautifully and I'm very happy with, oh, we got to do the washi again. Very happy with um, the bling ups that I've done. Just very happy. So cannot wait to share that. This washi tape is so cute. All right. Actually, I'm going to bring it up a little. Let's see if I can do this better. There we go. That's better. Cut through. Cut through. super easy that's the great thing about this one too is like super easy to do the washi on on these containers it's easier than elizabeth ward or anything like that all right this one has a lot of static i'm gonna get a new piece So yeah, I, I'm really loving the choices that I made, like I, the way it's coming together and can't wait to share it with you guys. I've been posting pictures on Instagram of row by row. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, there's a link below to my Instagram and you can see how it's going row by row. Okay, so that was my last number. So we did one through eight. Now we have to go out of order to get to the letters. So capital A, I'll do capital A and then I'll do lowercase a. So capital A is number 21 and I'm gonna pull it off. So it's number 21, 
DMC 761. So here's 21 and it's a small bag. So we only need one compartment. So there's not a whole lot in here. Just squish this around a little bit. I should put little squares in as I go too. So. So hopefully that'll be coming at you this week as well. And then we're gonna do the lowercase a, and that is 823, number 27. 823, 27. Okay, so this is a big guy. There is a little bit of static, not as much. Just a little bit, I think, from the bag. So these compartments hold a lot, which is another thing I like about them. Okay. So let's see, there shouldn't be a B because we have an eight. So we have capital A, lowercase a, A, B. We don't, we should not have a B and we don't, but we have a C, which is 3708. 37. 08, number 36, so 33, 4, 5, 36. Just a little bit in this bag. And there's, I don't even think there's any static. Okay, A, B, C, and then D, capital D. We could have a lowercase d. Can't have a lowercase c, because it'll just look like uppercase c. Let's see, do we have a lowercase d? I just wanna see. Um, no. And this is number 13, 333. That was pretty crooked. Number 13, 333. And there's a lot of static in here. Put a square in there. Um, so last year I said that my my year long project was going to be the that large dreamers designs. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do that. I think having that one in the background and maybe just trying to get a few squares done every week while I work on one other one is what I'm going to end up doing. So you might be seeing me cut that one up soon, um, because I, I don't, I'm not I don't plan on doing a uh, like a large like a, a diamond painting Deutschland this year. I don't know how I can't remember how confetti heavy that one is, but we're already a, a month into the year. So if I want to do that, I better do it soon. <laughs> I think I put a piece of dryer sheet, yeah. You guys all behave in there. <laughs> okay. And so A, B, C, D. There's no lowercase d that I saw. A, B, C, D, E. So here's a capital E, and then I do see a lowercase e right off the bat. So capital E is number nine to 11, which is right here. A very little bit of static. Let me see if I can get away with getting it in here. Yep, and I'll just put a little piece in there. So that's good. Um, and then lowercase e is 37.50. I really hope that this only takes one container. 
which is number 38, because I hate having to split 3750. I hate having to split letters like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but it bothers me having them on, on different strips, capital and lowercase letters. Okay. There's just a tad in there. I'm static. All right. We're good there. Okay. Second strip done. We're on a roll. I'm going to cut this piece up. Um, four, four little pieces here. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm still going to do that. And uh, I don't know. Uh, since I'm, I'm only giving myself 11 months now, I probably should get that up this week too. Two kid up videos in one week. Shut the front door. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hold door, hold door. Okay. If you watch Games of Thrones, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, uh, cut this. And yeah, I know I need to do a whip and chat. I, I have to tell you, it's just sometimes when I start diamond painting, I just wanna like, I just get in a zone. And I've been listening to audio books and guys, Oh, I've been listening to, I've waited like 20 weeks for this book. And, and then I didn't think to request part, part, uh, um, book two, three until I started listening to book one. And now I have to wait 18 weeks for book two and 24 weeks for book three, but it's the court of thorns and roses. Er, o M G love it. If you like books and you like fantasy kind of books, mm, it is good. A, B, C, D, E, F. So here's a capital F. It's uh, DMC 504 number 15 right here. Yeah, it is so good. I mean, I'm actually thinking because I'm going to be done that book tonight. When I'm done this and I go hop over to start diamond painting again, I'm actually going to be probably these bags. These bags are real nice. I feel like these bags are like. Um, these are like, I think my, the bags that I use are four mil and I think these are three mil, but they're still, they're, they're like the same size, but three mil maybe I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but, um, I'm, I'm not a bag expert, but <laughs> I'm a bag lady. I'm just kidding. All right. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We got a G. We don't have a lowercase F, but we got a G and it's DMC 519 and it's number 16. And that is this guy here, and he does have a little static. So yes, this book, uh, I do not do spoilers on my channel because I don't like spoilers and I don't want to, you know, ruin anything. I'm just going to say that uh, this audiobook is like, I I've literally, guys, this is embarrassing, but I literally took, took it in the shower with me the last two days because I got home from work and I played it on my way home from work because work sucked. Sorry for the language, but it was horrible. And um, yeah, I, I just wanted to like feel good. <laughs> So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So wait, there's no lowercase g. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. 
and uh, here's a capital H. No, oh, there is a lowercase h, and it's one of the ABs. I still put it in here like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know when I get to the symbol if it's if it's an AB or not. So, um, 340, number 14, right here. 340. And he has no static in him. Very cooperative, 340. Thank you for your services. Um, so I literally took it in the shower with me. It's like no shame. And I just like propped it up so that it wouldn't get water on it. And I, and I could hear it. Oh my God. I couldn't stop listening to this book. So it's like, I want to say it's like 16 hours, this audio book. And I am finishing it so, so fast, like crazy fast. And I only have like a half an hour left of the book. I finished the square and I was like, I'm kind of like savoring it because A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, there's no I, there is a J because I, I'm, I'm going to be sad when it's over and I don't have book two. So you can buy the books. They're like $20 a piece. You can buy the audio book. Um, off of uh, the iPhone audiobook app. I don't know what it's called, but it's not Audible. Like I asked someone, someone's a, a member of Audible and they can only listen to one book a month for $13. Hey, I'm not doing that. One book for $13? Like, no. I just go to the library. But the problem with the library is, is if it's a popular series like this is, you know, I go through Libby in my library system. I have to wait for like the popular, like I'm trying to get um, Matthew Perry's autobiography that he actually, in the audiobook version, he actually narrates himself. Um, again, it was like a 60 week wait, you know, cause he passed away. And so everyone wants to listen to it like me. And, um, it's, it's like a six, it's like 200 people in front of me or something like that. And it's just an estimate because it, you know, based on how long each person takes to actually listen to it, but every person's allowed 29 days with it. So it's, it's an estimate, but like, yeah, um, I don't feel like I want to wait that long for book two. I want to listen to it like tonight. <laughs> so I'm, I just might have to bite the bullet and buy it. A, B, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. It's that good. So I, it, it's called, I think it's by Sarah. I want to say Sarah Mass, but don't quote me on that. Number 22, we're doing, it's, um, we did, we just did J, we're doing K, 791 DMC number, and it's number 22, and that's right here. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's a fantasy, you know, it has, it's, it has all the elements of fantasy in it. So if you liked the Twilight series, um, or, and all of that, you know, and you like that kind of stuff, then you, you'll like this. And honestly, I wish I could, I had time to read it. I just don't have time to read. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. There's L. Um, because, you know, I, I use my time for this. And I'm not willing to, I, you know, listening to books and doing this, I'm kind of doing both. But yeah, highly recommend if you're a reader, I'm sure it's, but the narrator, oh my gosh, she is amazing too. And I, I'll say narrators really can make or break a book too. And she's amazing, amazing. All right, we're done the third one. I don't think I was on top of my squares in this one. So let me see. We got a square. We don't got a square in here. I don't think he... 
had a lot of, I don't have a square in here. Some of these didn't have a lot of static, so I didn't put them in, but I see them sticking to the container now. So third one down, we're on our fourth one. We're making some progress here, some really good progress. Okay, washi, where's my washi? Okay, put the washi down. Boom. Take my knife and yeah, I think I'm gonna end up buying it. Maybe by the time I'm done the second one, it'll, um, Did I cut this one? Jeez, I, it cut so, so clean. I didn't even, I can't even see where I cut it. Okay. So where did we leave off? L, L, M. Here's the M. They don't do upper and lowercase m usually, but they do do that with n. And I see the upper n, 17, 550. I like 550. So that's what I've been on my kick now. Remember I was like watching all those Netflix shows, went through that, then I went through my um, my romance, my romance movies on Netflix, and then I got tired of those, and then I went through, and now I'm, now I'm on my audiobooks, <laughs> L-M-N, so there's no lowercase L-M-N, Finally, number 10, 223. Oh, wow. I don't know what my daughter's watching. It sounds like Star Wars, but it's loud. She's been on like this huge Grey's Anatomy kick. But that does not sound like Grey's Anatomy. M N. There's no lowercase N. There is an O. Jeez. She is deaf. 24. Yeah, guys. My daughter wasn't even out there watching that. I, I would go out there. That TV is blasting. I'm like... I scream her name. She's like, what? I was like, you're not even watching this. It's like loud as all. I was like, are you trying to make sure that the deaf dog can hear it? <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. She's, you know, my adult baby. But you know what we say, kids. All right. Pour this in here. I think the next one is the three tens. I have four containers. I think I think that should be enough. I think that's perfect, actually. I hope. All right. So this. Oops. One in here. And I'm just gonna give that dryer sheet to it. Get a new one. All right, so OP is 310. I'm not going to put it down because I want to see, does one bag fit in here? I think it will because then I have four bags. And surprisingly, there's no static.
Oops. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So all of them should fit in here. So then I'll just put all four along here like this. All right, so I kind of that's kind of where I'm at diamond painting wise. Um, I really want to catalog all of my stash and see if I can get that number down this year as opposed to getting going up. Um, I wish I could say that you know I'm off to a good start because I have finished. A decent amount of canvases so far this year but um I can't even say that because we are done the next row we are moving right along here okay um because I did buy some um I bought some yeah I bought some I'm silly girl uh, o P Q. There's no Q. There is an R. Number twenty three. Oh, oh, we forgot the washi. So, but I'm I'm really being picky now. I'm very picky. The ones that I bought were two of them were like part of a collection that I couldn't say no to because I'm collecting them. And two of them were just too cute. <laughs> too cute to say no. So, but I, I am also, whoops, am I, that was not at all on in between. It's really... It's really kind of hard to see where the where it is in between these doors for some reason for me tonight. There we go. All right. R <clears throat> is DMC 797. And it is number 23, it's right here. <clears throat> but I'm really, really being picky so that I, I just work on what I have. I wanna work on what I have. R, S, he's crooked. There we go. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. are wow there's no s there's a t there's a t and an uppercase and a lowercase r s t so it's dmc 813 number 25 there's my pug snoring she's been doing really good she hasn't had any issues um, today, though, we heard her, uh, Bob and I, like, before he had to leave for work, we were sitting there talking, and I heard her, and I thought she was, like, rubbing her face in her blankets and stuff, and she was, like, kind of growling and everything, and I go around the corner to, like, watch her, and she was, like, standing there, staring at the wall, like, growling. <laughs> And I'm like, come over here. Now I can I can say to him, come over here, and she won't hear me. So we're doing lowercase t824. It's number 28. It's right here. 
and she didn't like she's like her back is to us and she's like staring at the wall i don't know if she was looking at her shadow i don't know what she was looking at but we were just standing there watching her and we're like this is interesting <laughs> and then she looks over like at the, the front door and she's like starts growling again and i'm like okay what is what is she seeing this is so weird and then she turned around and saw us staring at her and she's looking at us like what <laughs> so she's doing she does some weird things like that and i i do think it has to do with the fact that you know she can't hear as well um but she's been doing really good otherwise no issues whatsoever QRSTU. Um, back to her regular walks and everything. The snow is gone. We're doing DMC 820, number 26. It's got some static in here. I find it's better if you see there's static in the bag rather than dump out what can come out because then. We have a chance of things like kind of flying and stuff. Um, or like it's all sticking to the top of the bag now and it's hard to like manage the bag. I just go ahead with the dryer sheet and start taking care of the static right away. Then dump it. Oh my gosh. So I, I just thought that all of that noise was my dog, but some of it was the TV out there. I'm like thinking, she sounds like a washing machine. <laughs> I think this one belongs here. Yes, and this one, I don't know how that got in there, belongs here. There we go. All right. R S T U V, we have a V. And it is number 12, DMC 327. It's right here. So she has been doing really, really well. And she hasn't been doing that, like, once she wakes up. As you can see, like, she woke up because my daughter came home. And then she hung out with her for a minute, saw that she wasn't eating anything, and then just wanted to come back in here. She lay down, and she went right back to sleep. So... She's been, she's been doing that more and less of that weird, like, barking at us. I think it's because she wants food. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah. U, V, W. No W, but there is an X. Oh, good. We're going to end... We're going to end the letters on this row. So X is number 29, and it's 825. So this one does have some static in it, but it, there's not a lot, and there wasn't a lot of drills. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a little square in there. Can you spare a square? Okay. I don't think I put one in this one. There you go. I just need to put one in every one because All right, uh, X, Y, there's no Z. That goes here, and this is number 19, set DMC 745. It's this pretty pale yellow. And there's just a little bit at the bottom. We'll just go ahead and swish this around a few times. Like so. Go 
ahead and dump it out. It's so funny. Um, I did take CrossFit at one point, uh, and I loved it. I loved it. Has anybody ever done CrossFit? It's super hard. It's like really hard, but it's, it's such an amazing workout and it's so like, I don't know. It's a culture and you get wrapped up in the culture too. And I, I just loved the classes. The instructors were awesome. And so I'm at work and I was really busy and, um, I had to draw labs for my patient. So at my job, we only draw labs off of for our patients if they have an arterial line. Otherwise, the lab tech will come and draw the labs. I um, actually had a situation where, and this is very rare, I had to draw labs for both of my patients because um, the one was like a super hard stick. And so they put an order in that I could draw it off the central line. So I was, I was managing all their labs as well. And, um, <clears throat> she, uh, so I could, we have it, what's called a tube system. So a tube system is when you, it's, it's just like, you know, when you go to a bank and you go through the drive through and you get the tube and you put your checks in it and you send it off to the teller. Well, the hospitals have those pneumatic, new, new, I think they're called pneumatic tube systems. And, um, the other, the hospital that I worked at the, in the inner city, that was like super hard and like really high acute and all that, that one had a very intricate tube system. It went to the pharmacy. We could, we could call the pharmacy and be like, Hey, I really need such and such. Can you tube that up to me? Um, ASAP. And like, they could tube up a drug, like, whew. uh, we went to the lab. They, it went everywhere. It went to every floor. Every floor had one. So if, uh, let's say you forgot to send some paperwork and you just sent a patient up, you could actually roll it up, put it in the tube and say, Hey, I'm sending this EKG to you. I forgot to put it in the chart. You know, um, it was awesome. This hospital system doesn't has a pneumatic tube system, but it literally goes to like four places. It's kind of weak. <laughs> I'm like, this is so lame. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so we're down to symbols, and I think the first symbols I'm going to do, all right, so I think I'm going to do, um, honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to just do... Like, first I'm going to do math symbols. So 826, DMC 826 number 30 is a uh, percent sign. We'll do that one first. Um, so, but the one place that it can go to is the lab. It's also constantly, like, out of order, this tube system. The other hospital, it was never out of order. I mean, very rarely out of order, I should say. I can't say never, but very rarely was it out of order. And so anyway, um, I went over, I, I drew my patient's labs and I go over to the tube system and there's a lab tech standing there. And I said, uh, oh, hey, are you about to, are you going to send labs? Like, she was waiting for the tube to come back and she said, yeah. And I was really busy. She was like, yeah. And then she's like, do you remember me? And she pulled her mask down and I was like, um, oh my God, it was one of my CrossFit coaches <laughs> from when I took CrossFit. And I was like, oh my gosh, of course I do. And I was actually, no, actually I was asking her for something like I 
like a straight, I didn't know what it was called. And she's like a straight needle. My daughter's printing something. She's ruining my video. I'm just kidding. I think I might have printed something. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, I forgot you were filming. No, it's okay. Just re you can use color, remember, if you if you I want. I did for this one. Okay. I like the black and white for the photos, though. Oh, God, wait, it's huge. Why is it so big? You can't fit that in the book. Let me see. It's huge. What is that? Spotify QR code. Mm, yeah. Hey, Kaylee. Can you close my door, baby? So this 939, um... Hey, baby, I'm still recording. I'm, I'm reprinting. Oh. Sorry. It's gonna go into two. Two, two bins. Oh, I didn't realize there was a print preview on the screen. So what did you do? Just I just cropped it and printed it. Mm. But because I cropped it, it was right on my phone. So if that didn't work, I, I, I can tell you how to do it. That sounds like it's a lot. Did it work? Uh, QR code part's gonna come out of here. Yeah, just there. Right. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Okay, this one's got a lot of static. Hold on. Okay, gotta swish it again. Um, actually, I was. I went back over there a second time and I was like, are you waiting for the tube? And she said, yes. I was like, can you send these for me when it comes? And she's like, sure. So, um, I, but the first time I went over and I was like, Hey, um, do you have, and I, I was trying to get a straight needle from her. I, I didn't know what it was called. And I was like, she's like, I do. She's like, do you remember me? And then she pulled her mask down and I was like, Oh my God. And I was there with, with a couple other nurses and I was like, I was like, guys, and the one, we, the one nurse, he and I always talk about working out cause he joined orange theory because he came up to me and he was asking me about working out and stuff. And he was like, should I, I was thinking about doing this class, orange theory. Do you think I should, do you think it's going to be, and I was like, totally, you should do it. Like, yes, I think it's going to work for you. I think you're going to love it. I think, you know, once you get into, cause there's just something about doing classes. Um, like I did kickboxing, I did CrossFit. It's just fun and you make friendships and, you know, like I said, it's a culture and it's just a lot of fun. So, okay. Number 35 is DMC 995, this pretty blue here. And so I told him, yeah, I absolutely think you should give it a try. It, you know, it was like a Groupon for, I don't know, whatever. And he loves it. And he goes all the time. And I'm always telling him, I'm like, I'm going to come with you one day. And uh, the things he tells me he does, I was like, I, I'm always telling, saying to him, oh, yeah, we used to do that in CrossFit. Oh, yeah, we used to do that in CrossFit. And so he was with me. Uh, and and she's like, do you remember me? And I was like, oh, my God. And so I said to him, I'm like, she was, she's one of my, she was one of my CrossFit coaches. And he's like, oh, no. So you're like really ripped, huh? <laughs> and she's like, well, I just had two babies. But no, she's still really ripped. And I was like, dude, she's so, excuse my language, but I was like, she's so badass. She really is. Like she can literally like that girl. She doesn't look it. Okay. She, Cause she's, she's, she's small, but she's, she's muscular, but like she's got scrubs on. You can't tell that. You can't tell any of that. Right. So I did percent plus star equal. Um, and 
I'm going to do check mark and question. Uh, check mark and arrow. I'm going to do check mark and arrow because they're all kind of like there's a question mark, but I, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do, I don't want to do this one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do check mark and then question mark. Check mark. It, I don't know why I put so much thought in this part because honestly, I'm going to know that the last two rows are symbols. So I'm immediately going to look at them no matter what it is. You know what I mean? I do this all the time. But uh, the check mark is 827. It's number 31. Yeah, she she's pretty awesome. In fact, um, I don't know if you guys know what a snatch is, but it's like when you when you start at the ground with your barbell and you're like really, really wide grip, like pretty much as far as you can go and you you stand up, you pull it, you pull it up and then you throw it, you throw yourself under it and you pop the bar up. It's called a snatch. Um, and the, I had a very hard time doing those, those movements and, uh, anything overhead, anything where I had to throw the barbell up overhead was very difficult for me, but the first time I ever got like a really smooth snatch where it was like I popped it up and it and it just all came together like it just all it was just like one fluid motion and I I felt it like you know you know you can feel it when you do it right it's like I just popped under that bar came up like and she looked at me she said something to me and I I don't remember what it was, but she said something to me and it just all clicked in that moment. Whatever she said to me, I just like popped it up, went underneath the bar. She looked at me. I looked at her and I was like, oh, my God. Like <laughs> uh, It was like it was for me, it was like a beautiful moment and I'll never forget that. And I was like, whatever you said, like I don't and I, I want to be honest with you. I did it again. I think I did it a couple more times in that class, but then of course the next time I snatched, it was gone. And I could not remember what she said, which is the crazy part, you know, and I just it just you know, it just was it was it was a very difficult movement for me. But um yeah, she was an awesome teacher. She was an awesome teacher. She's great personality, very kind, very friendly, very approachable. She didn't make me feel like I have a, like, I have a problem. I, 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 I'm like scared of authority <laughs> and she didn't make me feel like threatened or anything like that. So I was very, I, I was very drawn to her and I felt bad because if I had not been so busy, I would have like sat there and talked to her, but I, I, I just did not have the time. I was just like, I had a fire under my butt and I had to keep going um, so I'm really hoping she said she's worked for my company for three years. So I'm really hoping I see her again. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was funny. And it was funny that I saw her with that guy because we always talk about exercise and he's always telling me about things he's doing in the class. And I'm like, oh yeah, they call that a you know, they call that a clean or yeah. Um, so it's, it's funny. And I remember she's also, I, I, my, my squat max ever, my one squat max ever was 210. And I remember, I think I did 205 and she's like, you got, you got, you, you got, you got more in you. And she threw another five pounds on and yeah, I did 210 and I, I was, um, you know, she pushed me and she was, she was awesome. Yeah. So it was really cool to see her. She said she's in nursing school and I really wish her the best, but so 747, number 20, 
Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have time to talk to her. I, I hate that because I hope she doesn't think I was blowing her off, but I was just like, I, I gotta go. Like, I was just running around, giving blood, this, that, like just busy, busy, busy. And then on, so Saturday I was super busy and I, but so Saturday, this is, I, I've been, I had like a headache all weekend and I know it would have, if I didn't have the meds that I had, I know it would have turned into a migraine. So I'm glad I had the meds that I had. Um, but I went to the gym Saturday before work. And when I was at the gym, I started getting a headache. I got home at like 3.15. And, you know, I have to leave for work at 6.23. So I was scared to... I, I was scared to take anything because I was like, what if it makes me dizzy or sleepy or I was nervous. Like the, the Imitrex makes me tired and I usually take it and then I go right to sleep. So next one I'm doing is this like teepee and it's uh 3713 number 37. And um, so I was afraid to take it with only three and a half hours. Like I still had to, you know, shower and do all these things and like pack my lunch and stuff. So I was like, I just don't have time to be dizzy and tired. And, you know, I don't want to be groggy or feel weird starting my shift. So I took this other medicine that she had given me. Um, the migraine doctor. Now I'm just going to throw, throw. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I think I'm going to do one, four and then four so that I don't have one in its own container by itself. So nine, five, one. It's this guy. So, um, when I got home from the gym, you know, I, I showered, I ate, and I took this medicine that was like an, it's, it's like in, indomethacin or something like that. I looked it up. It's, it's like an, I, it's like a strong ibuprofen. It's like a, like a prescription NSAID. Um, so I felt safe taking that. So I took that and then I went to sleep and I still had the headache. So when I got to work, I took an Excedrin. Actually, not even. When I got in my car while the car was warming up, right before I left for work, I took Excedrin migraine because it was. I keep that in my work bag. So I grabbed that and I took two of those. So when I first got to work, I was like, I'm not going to feel good all night. This is horrible. And then I got super busy and I kind of didn't have time to feel awful. You know, I, I was, I was lucky. Like I stopped feeling the headache. I was running around and, um, I literally thought it was gone. So then I go home and because I kept thinking when I first got to work, I was like, when I get home tomorrow morning, I'm going to take an Imitrex before I go to bed. But I got home and I was like, I, I thought I felt fine. And I was like, oh, I'm good. I took a shower. I went to bed. And once I put my head on the pillow, it, it started kind of throbbing a little. And I thought, oh, it's not gone. I should have gotten up and taken the Imitrex. But... I was so tired that I just went to sleep because it wasn't like pounding. It was just kind of like throbbing. I woke up. It was still, I woke up at like 1130. It was still throbbing. So I did go out and I took an Imitrex, went back to sleep. Then my mom came over too. She had to drop something off for me. I'll tell you that story in another. <laughs> I'm going to try to do a whip and chat this week. 
And my mom came over. Oops. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna do here. One. Two, three, and we'll need one more. Um, so my mom came over. This is number 40, 3770, right here. And um, I hung out with her for a little bit. So this is Sunday. And I ate and then I did not feel up to diamond painting. So I just went right back to bed, got up, went, to, went back to work and still had this throbbing behind my right eye. <sighs> um, so when I came home today, I thought, you know what? It's time to try another one, another medicine. Um, I think it's called Nurtech. She gave me samples of Nurtec and I haven't tried it yet. I was scared to try anything else. And so I was like, I better try something else. See how it makes me feel so that I know if I can take it, if I start having a headache and I have to work, you know? So I tried the Nurtec and it went away. It helped a lot and it didn't make me dizzy. So that's going to be the one I grabbed if I start feeling something and I have to go to work. In fact, I should put up, she only gave me four samples. So I should put that, actually, I should put a box of the samples in my lunch bag instead of the Imitrex because I really can't take that at work. All right, and then we got 3865. I need one more little piece of washi. And 3865 is this little bit of white. Leave that in there. And then we have, oh, we need a washi. We need a washi. And um, so yeah, finally today, because I took that Nurtec this morning when I got home from work, I took it, went to went, I uh, took a shower, and then went to sleep, woke up, feel fine. And when I woke up to go to the bathroom and stuff, this is how I know that Imitrex makes me dizzy because I always wake up to have to go to the bathroom after taking it an hour or two. And I'm like stumbling to the bathroom like, Ooh. <laughs> but I was fine with the Nurtec. All right, there we have it, guys. We are all kitted up. Oop. <laughs> let me put this, let me put this together. Um, Simple, simple, symbols, symbol, symbol, symbols. Um, why? All right, we got one, two, eight, A. All right, let's look at it. Let's look at what we got here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A, A, C, D, E, E, F, G, H, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, T, T, U, V, X, Y. And then we have symbols, symbols, symbols and that's the color palette super excited it's gonna be so beautiful there she is hello moon um i think it's still available and on sale again i do have a code kimba 15 
if you want to purchase her, even if she's on sale, the code does work and it gives you, I think 15% off, 15% off, maybe 10. I'm not sure. I forget now, guys. I'm sorry, but it's in, it, it, the correct information is in the unboxing, but it's, it's Kimba 15. It gets you some money off, even if it's on sale or any purchase. And if you've used the code before, you can use it again. I'm not telling you, you know, because I'm trying to make money. I, I will receive a small commission, but um, I'm telling you, you can use that code anytime you want to, uh, to save you some money, even on sale items. Okay. So if you like her, go ahead and get her. She is a square, 46 colors. I think she's adorable. We'll see how she comes out. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kim's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care. Keep diamond painting.